Hello students, I have uh, with me here a simultaneous equation. It's an Olympiad simultaneous equation. So I want to teach you how to actually solve this question. Let's start. Now these are the two equations. This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Okay, now from equation two why i'm choosing equation two because equation two is simpler okay compared to equation one so from equation two i'm going to make one of it the subject formula remember equation two is a b is equals to 48 okay so i can decide that uh, a is equals to 48 over b now, this is very important too. I'm going to be using it. So, let it be my equation 3. Now, what I'm going to do is to substitute equation 3 in equation 1. Now, substituting equation 1, I'm going to have, instead of A squared, I'm going to have 48 all over B. Okay? All squared. Then, minus B squared is equals to 28. Now, squaring 48, I'm going to have 2, 3, 0, 4. Then, of course, squaring the denominator, which is B, is B squared. Minus B squared is equals to 28. Now, I can clear the fraction by multiplying through by B squared. So this is going to be b squared into 2304 over b squared. Then minus, I have b squared times another b squared. Then it's equal to 28 uh, into b squared. Okay, so that this will cancel this. I'm now clearing the fraction. Uh, I'm going to have 2304 minus b raised to the power 4 is equals to 28b squared. Now, rearranging it further, I'm going to have um, b raised to the power 4 plus 28b, then minus 2304 is equals to 0. Now, this looks like a quadratic equation, only that the b is raised to the power 4. So this is what I'm going to do. Just watch and learn. Now, do you know that b raised to power 4 can be written as b squared all raised to power 2, then plus 28b, then minus, of course, this is b squared, okay? So let me not forget. Then minus 2, 3, 0, 4, all right, is equals to 0. So, what I will do to reduce the ambiguity of this um, question is let um, x be equals to b squared. So, anywhere I see b squared, I'll replace it with x. So, that um, here is going to be x all squared plus 28x then minus 2, 3, 0, 4 is equals to 0. So I have x squared plus 28x minus 2, 3, 0, 4 is equals to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. Now one of the simplest things to do is to use the formula to work it out. Now in using the formula, which says that um, x minus, sorry, x equals to minus b plus minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, this is the formula, the quadratic formula. So you see, I have to look for my a, b, and c. I can actually find it. Now, I'm going to use the format of a quadratic equation. I'm putting it side by side with the equation given to me. Okay, all that I've found. 
Now we compare the coefficients. If you compare the coefficients, you find out that A is equals to 1, B is equals to 28, and C is equals to minus 2304. Now I will now substitute. Substituting it, I'm going to have X is equals to minus. I have 28 for my b plus minus root of 28 all squared. Okay. Then I have minus 4 into 1 into minus 2304. Okay. Now, since uh, I have this, um, recall everything is over 2a. So this is over 2 into 1 because a is 1. So x is going to be minus 28 plus minus root of 7, 8, 4. Then this minus times this minus becomes plus. So it's plus uh, 9, 2, 1, 6. Okay, everything square rooted all over 2. Now, using your calculator, it's going to be minus 28 plus minus root of 10,000 all over 2. So that my x is going to be minus 28 plus minus 100 all over 2, which is the same as saying either 28 plus 100 all over 2. Or um, minus 28 minus 100 all over 2. Okay, so my x is either um, going to be 72 over 2 or minus 128 over 2. So x is either 36 or minus 64. Now, we should recall, recall that we actually said let um, x be equals to b squared. So, when x is equal to 36, we are now going to have b squared is going to be 36. So that b is going to be square root of 36, of course, is plus minus. So that b is equals to plus minus 6, meaning that b is 6 or minus 6. Now, on the other hand, if I am to find uh, b, so when x is equals to minus 64, b is equals to b square is going to be minus 64. Now, b is going to be square root plus minus of minus 64. Now, the root of minus 64 does not exist in a real plane. So, b is not real in this case. Okay, and the instruction is we are to find the real values of a and b. So, we neglect um, this part and we are going to be working with um, b is equals to 6 or minus 6. Now again, recall that our a is equals to 48 over b. So when uh, b is equals to 6, my a will be 48 over 6, which will now be 8. So, if I'm going to put them side by side, a is 8 and b is 6. We have it this way. Then, we go to the second side. When um, b is equals to minus 6, my a is going to be 48 all over minus 6, which is going to be minus 8. So that um, I'm going to have minus 8, then that is A is minus 8 and B is minus 6. Now, these are the two sets of values that I have for me to actually find my answer, okay? So, therefore, we said 
that um, we are to look for A plus B. Okay, that is what we are to look for. So, using uh, the first situation where we have 8,6, my A plus B will now be 8 plus 6. The answer is 14. Using the second um, set of values, I'm going to have A plus B will be minus 8 minus 6, which is minus 14. So, invariably, um, in conclusion, A plus B uh, is going to be either plus 14 or minus 14. A plus B can be simplified as plus minus 14. That is the answer. Okay, thank you so much for being here. I want to believe you enjoyed the video. You saw the tricks and everything, okay? So don't forget to subscribe for more interesting videos.